So it was about a year ago that I told you guys about the Stealth Gear Onyx inside the waistband holster. This one right here, which I still consider to be the Rolls Royce of inside the waistband holsters, definitely. But about six months ago, the good folks at Stealth Gear approached me and asked me if I would like to participate in an evaluation and testing program for a then brand new concept holster that one right there and that is the Stealth Gear Flex. This is an outside the waistband holster but it bears a whole lot of resemblance to the Onyx inside the waistband holster. Let me show you what's the same show you what's different. <laughs> So what you see in this uh, Stealth Gear Flex holster is a Glock 19, but it's not just any Glock 19. This is the Copper Customs Glock 19. It's got all that Robar finish. Uh, it's a very expensive Glock 19. If you're going to go top of the line with your Glock, you want to go top of the line with your holster. But even before that, this Glock 23 spent a couple of months riding in this holster too. So I've got several months worth of experience using this holster. I've used it for everyday carry. I've used it for IDPA matches. Um, and I've used it for just running drills and doing general range work. So this holster has seen a lot of use and it's been worn a lot. But if you look at it, it just doesn't even look like it's been worn at all. And that's pretty typical of the Stealth Gear products. So I'm going to talk a little bit about how this thing is constructed. If you're not familiar with their products, you may be able to see that there's some diamond shaped holes right here that you can see in the material. That is a Kydex sheet between two other pieces of material and it's got holes through it so it can breathe. Even though this is an outside the waistband holster, this part up here where your body is going to have some contact with it is breathable. On the outside, they have what they call a rhino mesh. And this rhino mesh feels really hard. I mean, it almost feels like, uh, you know, <laughs> uh, medieval chain mail or something. And, yep, my first thought, too, was, well, geez, what's that going to do to the finish of my gun? Well, take a look. There's the Glock 23. You're looking at the side that would ride against that mesh. And it's been in and out of that holster hundreds of times. And there is barely any noticeable wear at all at the front of this gun. Here's the Copper Customs Glock 19. Also has been in and out of this holster. Not as many times, but many dozens of times at the very least. And you can almost not notice any wear whatsoever. So, uh, and that also goes for the other side where the Kydex rides. There is a little bit. If I were to show you close-ups, you could see a little bit of abrasion, as you're going to see with any kind of holster, even leather. So this, uh, this Rhino mesh is extremely strong and durable and tough, but it's very gentle on the finish of your gun. Obviously, that's pretty important. So let's look at some of the things that set this holster apart from all of the other outside the waistband holsters on the market, and there are a bazillion of them out there. This one lives up to its name, which is Flex, because it does flex. You can see that I can bend this holster quite a bit. You've got this mesh background again with a very thin kydex piece inside between the two layers of fabric. You've got these clips out on sort of wings at the edge. There's some flex there. So you've got a lot of movement. The sweat guard is completely flexible right and that's actually more important than you think about you guys who carry on an outside the waistband or even an inside the waistband holster with a sweat guard made out of kydex you know what i'm talking about you bend a certain way and that thing digs into your side well this is going to move with you it's going to breathe and it's going to be very comfortable whether you're wearing it 
under a shirt or over a shirt. The Kydex is the typical strong, high-quality Kydex that Stealth Gear makes their holsters out of. These wing clips also extremely thick and durable. All black coated stainless steel hardware. The belt clips extremely sturdy and durable. Now the first one I had, this is the second one, the first one they sent me which was a prototype I did some early evaluation on and then I sent it back. It had a different type of clip they call a speed clip. I actually prefer that type of clip to this one but I don't have a copy of that to show you but you can look that up on their website. As far as fit goes the gun fits perfect absolutely perfect it's a very snug fit you can hold this thing upside down and shake it all day and the gun's not going to come out but at the same time when i use this to draw for drills or an idpa match it comes out quick and easy this is configured in a straight drop configuration but you can tilt it by adjusting the ride of your clips on either side so you could cant it you can also change it for ride height if you want it to ride a little bit lower or higher. This one, the way it's set up, rides pretty high, which I like because you don't need nearly as much cover garment to conceal it. One of the things about the loops, and you can see the configuration there, you've got that loop that kind of goes straight into the backing on the holster, right in here. And one of the issues with that is if you're wearing a good quality thick gun belt like this one and you're feeding it in there let me get my let me get the right angle here you feed that belt in there it wants to collide <laughs> directly with that backing on the holster so you have to finagle that around that a little bit and push it in and it's a pretty snug fit but that ends up being a good thing because once you've got this on you you've already got a nice tight fit so you have to kind of uh, you have to sort of weave your belt through the clips but once you do it's got a good hold. The backing material is different than this Rhino material on the front. It's called VentCore. You've got a little tag here, VentCore technology and it's a little softer. This is again is the side that could be against your body or it's going to be against your clothing. So we want to be a little gentle on the clothing and we certainly want to be gentle on the body. You notice that the back side of the sweat guard here is even yet another material and this is even softer it's also a mesh and it's also very breathable because this could potentially be up against bare skin this thing is put together extremely strong the hardware is really good the kydex is thick you can look up on their website www.stealthgearusa.com all the specifications but this holster rides very comfortably on your waist it rides nice and high it also rides nice and tight it keeps a close fit to your body makes it a lot easier to conceal makes it a lot safer to carry and easy to access it also doesn't take a whole lot to conceal it just a light windbreaker or jacket does the trick nicely i've even concealed it under sweatshirts and sweaters with no problem at all so there she is the Flex from Stealth Gear. This is another, another Rolls-Royce model, as far as I'm concerned, to come out of the garage of Stealth Gear. And this holster is going to last a lifetime. I've already got six months worth of pretty frequent heavy-duty use out of this holster. And it looks just like the day it came out of the box. Oh,